What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. I'm here today to talk about the new event, Independence Day. Yesterday was 4th of July and they decided to do something completely different this time. Four days, four challenges. We never had that in the past. So you have a challenge and you have to complete it in the same day, I'm guessing. I don't know what happens if you claim a mission and you complete it later. But still, I didn't take a chance. I did my first challenge on day one. So it says uh, it's gonna end. I'm the time I'm recording this. It's gonna end in 11 hours. It says Independence Day one out of four, and yeah, special challenges with rewards. So today was play three games of Capture the Flag to get the flag emote. Has been missing for a few weeks. It's very controversial, but finally people are able to get the flag emote. So um, yeah, well, I can't wait to see what the next uh, challenges will be. And I'm kind of hoping for some grindy challenges on the weekend. So one more Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I guess people have more time to grind on the weekend. Also, it says in the description, new gun at Nitro Shop. Guys, there's not there's more than a new gun. It's also a bunch of new paint buckets, dual colors. Uh, some really interesting ones, by the way, and I love the name. And the unplug emo is back, guys. When they released the new emotes, that thing was available on the first night and it was removed. And everyone's looking for it, so it's a pretty cool one. It's there right now. Uh, I don't know if it's still gonna be there tomorrow, but hey. Uh, the dual color paint. I wish you guys could have seen my reaction when I saw the name Matrix Pill for the blue and red. Uh, pretty sure you guys saw the Matrix, but if you didn't, uh, the guy has to choose between a blue pill or a red pill at the start of the movie. Not gonna spoil anything, but I, I really like the reference. Uh, Emerald <laughs> Canary. Uh, yeah, I love the color, by the way, yellow and green. I love the name. And Crimson Eclipse is also the black and red. This is not new, by the way, but um, very popular. And it used to be pretty hard to find. Now, this is the weapon. And I equipped the Megalodon because if you guys didn't notice, it's a burst rifle, 1400 war points. Compared with the equipped item, I used Megalodon to show the difference. It's they're both burst rifles. Megalodon is uh, legendary, but look at the Freedomizer. More damage, faster fire rate, same accuracy, same range. It's just a little, well, not a little less, but the 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 magazine size is much smaller, 28 instead of 40. So this is the downside, right? But I don't know if you guys like burst rifles on paper this is actually good right I mean maybe not as good as the Raven which was probably the best burst rifle in the game but looks better than the legendary we have right so probably I'll get you guys some gameplay maybe tomorrow hopefully I'm just not sure I want to spend 1400 war points on that because I don't play burst rifles much but you guys let me know in the comments if you tried, how do you like the new... I mean, it's so freaking badass, the, the paint job or the skin on that one. Frick, yeah, America. America. Looks awesome. Yeah, really badass. I wish it was the crazy good AR. But yeah, we already have a sniper. So 4th of July, guys. Hope you guys had a great one. So I got some Capture the Flag gameplay for you guys today. And before we go, uh, well, I got another spoiler alert. I got another Juggernaut ribbon. And these are not easy for me, like I said. I guess if you play PvP every day, the just it's just going to happen. 10 kills without dying. Uh, I still need four more. But yeah, the slate mission was play three games of Capture the Flag. The cool thing is you don't even have to win. You just have to play three games. People ask me how you get Capture the Flag. I mean, it's just rotating in the war games when you go on the, well, how do you call that? Team PvP, I guess, 4v4. So it's, as I'm recording, elimination right now. Next, in 25 minutes, it's going to be capture the fight for an hour. So the game modes rotate. There are three different game modes, one hour each. So if you want to play capture the flag, you have to wait for it to come back. That's the downside. Uh, when they do an event like that, I suggest maybe... I mean, I remember when we have Capture the Flag events, Capture the Flag all day for, for the event, but uh, or a separate playlist for just Capture the Flag, maybe. Anyways, guys, 
Uh, I got some gameplay for you. I use the Faraday Accelerator in this. It's such a great weapon. The PvP players keep talking about it. Faraday you can buy at Nitro. Probably top 1 AR for PvP right now. Uh, the small magazine. I was using the damage build that I previewed on my channel a few days ago. Uh, 12 combat with 2 survival. So you have the med kit for capture the flag. And the sentry gun which are pretty good skills. Uh, I got the extra magazine on the skill tree. And extra AR on my legs. So pretty good build. Lots of damage. And the iron side damage you'll see I use a lot. And I use grab, uh, grabbed buffs from the bar, the 9% extra damage and projectile resistance. So enjoy the gameplay, guys. I will be back later tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. See ya. round will start in three seconds let's rock
Round will start in three seconds. Come get some. Thank <laughs> you.